Hi Pisces, I'm here for another reading for you today. As always, it is general and it's timeless, so just take what resonates with you, leave what doesn't for the next person. If you would like a one-on-one -on -one personal session with me, Akashic Records, or a personal reading, check out the box below. It has my website, 144bluerosetemple.com, and my email. Thank you for all of your love and all of your support. If my energy and my readings resonate with you, feel free to subscribe. Now, Pisces, the only energy, well, the word that I'm seeing for you is renewal. Okay, so let's see what that is for you. Divine Mother and Father, what do we have for the Pisces today on renewal? You have protection. You have loyalty. You have too much is hidden from you. All right, Pisces. This came out in your reading, last reading, Pisces. Protection, loyalty. You have looking back, adjustment, moving forward, and sacred action, decisive focus. Okay, for some of you, and then you have hostilities over here. And that is the energy that I'm picking up on here with loyalty it says loyalty and friendship but then you have too much is hidden from you and protection okay someone overstepped your boundaries here this could have happened in the past because it does say adjustment looking back and moving forward and then sacred action decisive focus you had a betrayal from a friend or like a group of people but I'm not getting romantic. I'm getting this is like a friend or a group of people, like friends, a friend group. You gained wisdom. You have the owl over here. You gained wisdom from this experience. Okay, there is a need for you to protect your energy um, of like the, where it's the type of energy that the people that you think are loyal to you may not be as loyal to you as you think that they are. Okay, and then you have sacred action, decisive focus. Why do we have the unseen motherhood and friendship? The angel gate, cleansing, protection, and blessing. Okay? You're being very protected over here because it does feel like there's like a friend or multiple people. 233, as soon as I say that, it could be specifically three people that they're not as much like loyal or on your side as you think that they are. Okay, too much is hidden from you. You have looking back and moving forward. You are making adjustments uh, when it comes to your life um, with this newfounded information. Okay, too much is hidden from you, the unseen. Um, it feels like spirit just like wants you to know when it comes to these people that um, it's like you're having a shift on your spiritual path. You know, and it, that shift on your spiritual path is coming after, like, knowing this truth, okay? All right, for friendship, motherhood, protection, the unseen, you have new beginnings, you have four of wands, okay? So you do have a beautiful new beginning here. I do feel like, though, it comes after, because you have looking back, moving forward, okay? So you are moving forward here. Sacred action, decisive focus. This adjusted your vision. You have the unseen here. This really just adjusted your vision so that you were able to move forward, okay? But I do feel like there were snakes in the grass. Um, there was some sort of disloyalty here or some sort of hostilities when it came to a group of people or like friends, okay? Why beginnings with four of wands? you have the ace of pentacles on the bottom of the deck too so you know what card came out if i said you motherfucker Ten of pentacles. okay this is what happened pisces you needed to see who these people were before you got your ten of pentacles 33 seconds as soon as i say that on the clock 333 you needed God needed to reveal to you the people who are not supposed to be around you, 444, 
When you receive your Ten of Pentacles, you have a brand new beginning coming. You have a whole celebration and you have a Ten of Pentacles, okay? This is abundance in whatever form it is that resonates with you, but you are going to receive some sort of long-term abundance, something that's long-lasting over here, okay? Uh, for some of you, this may even be like a marriage, all right? With the Four of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, some sort of long-term commitment. This situation, though, in the past, there's an overall theme here of you went through a cycle or a season, Pisces, where God needed to reveal around you who's not meant to be around you for you to receive this. These people were actually blocking it. And this is something, this is the type of situation, Pisces, where it's like these people who don't necessarily like you but they're still around you or they still, um, they're still friends with you or this or that. It's like, that's still not energy that you need around you. Five, five, five. It's like, it could be all love and light, but if the energy is around you, it's just still a blockage, you know? Um, but you kept moving forward, sacred action, decisive focus. You have something really big coming in for you, Pisces. And you've been through a purification, though, I feel like when it comes to your connections, okay? You have beautiful new connections coming in, and you really came out of a few cycles or a cycle of betrayal, of uh, disloyalty, of those types of reflections and situations, okay? Um, however, for some of you, like, God needed to isolate you. God needed to isolate you so that you could focus. God needed to reveal um, to you who is not meant to be around you for your winning season. You know, that's what's coming through here, Pisces. Uh, let's get more on the new beginnings. What is this new beginning for Pisces? What is the Four of Wands? What is the Ten of Pentacles? It's like Pisces, you... You have Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. For the Ten of Pentacles, the world card. A whole new world. Like, it's, it's a whole new world for you, Pisces. And what this is, is this new timeline that you're stepping onto, you know, stepping into, remembering, reclaiming. Um, this, the Ten of Pentacles is this new timeline for you. This is your new cycle, represented by the Ten of Pentacles. These people were holding you back. Look at this. Three of Cups over a new beginning, which that's literally three people. For some of you, it's quite literally three people. It's not gonna be everyone, but very specifically three people or a group effort, or it's just friends, right? Social circles. Check out where your 11th house is. Oppression, four of wands. It was these people, right? Again, there's too much hidden from you. There was too much hidden from you. There was a lot that was going on behind the scenes that was oppressing you, oppression. From what this celebration, this newness, this new cycle for you. Okay, so for some of you Pisces, like it was the people around you that um, were not oppressing you. Like no one has power over you, but their energy, right? impure or impure towards you whatever it is was oppressing your energy okay was draining your energy what's this three of cups for pisces forward movement what's this three of cups for pisces forward movement as you cut them off queen of swords you have the queen of swords here pisces four of um cups over here Six of Wands, you have forward movement, you have success as you set boundaries or cut off these people, which it's not always going to be cut off. Sometimes it's setting the boundaries. But as you do those things, all of a sudden there is success, okay? With the Six of Wands, you have the Ten of Pentacles here. Why oppression with the Four of Wands? For some of you... This is such a specific message because we have contemplation. And right before I looked at the bottom of the deck, what I was getting was like loose lips. Um, Page of Cups, Seven of Cups. These people, right, from your past, um, they, they're not that they were misleading you, but it's like that was not your path. 
those were karmic cycles. And being around them would have kept you stuck there as well as what I'm getting is like thoughts, like like uh, thoughts it is that you were consuming. Page of Cups with the Seven of Cups and look at the imagery, right? So like the old people, the old connections, what were they feeding you? As far as thoughts, because that's what's coming through actually with these two cards, Oppression, Four of Wands. Like what ways were maybe, um, yeah, again, like what you were consuming oppressing you from your actual path and the success and what was actually here for you. Okay, that's what's coming through. It's very deep through here. Why the Page of Cups with the Seven of Cups? Yeah, Seven of Wands protection. Why the Page of Cups with the Seven of Cups? Page of Pentacles in reverse. Um, four of Cups over here. You know, and again, uh, for some of you, I really do feel like you went through betrayal with certain people. Um, I do think that people were disloyal. I do believe with this energy that some of the people you were around, um, it's like they didn't even like you is the type of energy, you know, um, where like around you just to keep the peace or a lot of gossip, things like that, okay? Or again, the way that they think about you. Page of Cups, hmm. for some of you, it's the, not, not even like, like you consuming energy. You could be very well in control of your own energy. The way that they think about you, though. Okay. Which is why you went through a purification, okay? You're moving on in your life. Adjustment, looking back, moving forward. You're moving into the cycle of represented by the Ten of Pentacles, where they won't necessarily be a part of that cycle. Page of Pentacles in reverse with the Seven of Wands. I think you're being very protective of your energy here, Pisces. Sacred action, decisive focus. And again, it's sacred though, okay? So like even the moves that you're making, if it's the boundaries, all of that is sacred, okay? Decisive focus, very focused on the future, on what it is that you know, you're creating, that you're manifesting here, Pisces. And it feels like these people here in the past they had their time, you know, uh, two, 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 as soon as I say that, they had their time. Um, it just feels like things could have worked out differently in these dynamics and connections, and it was not completely pure is what it feels like, where, like, there's either gossip or disloyalty or something along those lines, okay? Why Page of Pentacles in reverse with the Seven of Wands for Pisces for this reading? Why Seven of Wands with the Page of Pentacles in reverse? Ten of Wands in reverse, and then the Ten of Swords, okay? Um, I don't see, or there's a need for you to just be mindful of like people from the past that may come back over here. You know, you're very protected in this new cycle. Okay, and it feels like you're putting burdens down it feels like you're also um, just protecting your energy from uh, anything that's not of your highest good, you know, that of which could be a burden. Yeah, and then you have the three of pentacles as well. I see you really focusing, again, like focusing on your work. Why the three of pentacles here? You have knight of cups. You have a opportunity coming in, you know, and so you are... Starting to separate yourself a little bit more. 333, three, three. as soon as I look up, my head was down for a little bit. So you could be seeing 333. Three, three. You're starting to distance yourself just more from um, those energies, what feels like it oppresses you, you know, um, connections that are just not rooted in, in love, you know, um, in truth, in purity. And as you shift that focus to yourself or your... Uh, for some of you, I see like career and things like that because it's sacred action, decisive focus. I actually see an opportunity as far as career coming in for you. Why three of pentacles with the knight of cups? You do have the five of wands and the four of cups. Okay, so it does feel like in the midst of all of these things happening, right? Because you do have eight of pentacles. So it does feel like you're working. It feels like you're coming into this new cycle. In the midst of that, there is this what feels... A little bit like drama, okay, with the five of wands, but it's how you respond to it, Pisces. Four of cups over here. Why the four of cups with the five of wands? Yeah, it feels like there's an energy here that um, 
Because with over the five of wands, you have the five of swords, you have the knight of wands. Why the five of swords and the knight of wands? Yeah, there is this energy here that, and again, this came up the other day, Pisces, in the reading, where there's like either a group of people or a few people, whatever it is, you know, for you that it's like they want to kind of keep you stuck, you know. Um, but again, you are experiencing this Ten of Pentacles energy and so four of cups over here uh, number one i'm also getting that you're very intuitive so you could actually feel this before it happens you know you see it before it happens four of cups over here and there's a need for you to focus on what you're focusing on and actually what's coming through is you're in the cycle pisces of the world and the ten of pentacles you do have these energies from the past that kind of weighing heavy or you're still feeling their energies or they're still present you know, causing some sort of chaos. What's coming through here, Pisces, is you're actually entering this new cycle of your life where you're meant to just focus on the newness and like what God has coming in for you. You're actually not like this is going on right now, Pisces, but the key it feels like for this particular situation is to play the observer with this eight of swords energy. I'm going to see why um, these people are in this energy about you, but what's coming through is this 10 of pentacles energy or cycle for you, Pisces. Not that this won't be the last time, but like you are rising above giving any energy to these types of situations. It feels like this is something that you very much observe. All right. And what's coming through is taking refuge, you know, refuge in the shelter of the Lord. Um, I feel like you are going to protect your energy, but just really remain in your own energy. And again, pay this. And I don't want to say pay this no mind. You know, again, this is a general and timeless reading. And so if you need to stand up for yourself, you know, you stand up for yourself. But what it feels like is you're going to be playing the observer for this situation because you end up with a brand new cycle that comes in but this almost like happens right before that you know when we think about that will smith situation you know um it's kind of like that that's what this feels like in 33 seconds as soon as i say that and so there's a need to just be mindful that you are in a place of such divinity of such authority of really manifesting all of your dreams your desires here pisces and you are stepping into this brand new cycle and so when this does happen um it feels like these people want to trigger you they want you to get out of this energy okay so you not stooping down to anyone's energy is really what i'm trying to say amidst all of these words not stooping down to their energy playing the observer Okay, because that is how they would get you, right? Eight of Swords over here. Um, it's like this energy wants you triggered. All right, how do these people feel about Pisces? Yeah, you have the Moon card over here, okay? Uh, you have the Two of Cups, you have the Moon card. Why the Two of Cups and the Moon card? You have Fertility. It feels like these people are watching you here pisces and they can't necessarily figure you out okay 44 as soon as i say that 444 you're even confusing them a little bit you have the moon card all right that's um illusions it feels like they can't figure you out how does pisces feel about these people you have temptation you have the ten of swords okay you have the four of swords this is a very clear message pisces where in both of these, this person's asleep, okay? Um, and it's more of just separating yourself energetically from the situation. It's like these people want you to be in their energy. They, and this is a very deep reading because I feel like it's picking up on their energy where like they would love you to be in that chaotic energy too or dramatic energy too or this or that. And they can't figure you out. Okay, the way that you feel about them, temptation, ten of swords, you feel like they are a test. <laughs> like, and, 
and I want to say this, it's like you feel like they are a test that is not sent from God. <laughs> like that is how this temptation and ten of swords card feels where you're like, you were not sent from God. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, but this is the test, okay? It feels like whatever the situation that this is, it is triggering for you. Um, and the way it is that you feel like you really feel like this person or these people, it's like, what are you doing? You know, why are you coming for me? Um, yeah, you know, um, and you feel like they're causing you pain or want to. All right. How do these people feel about Pisces? Again, they're watching you. It's so interesting. It's like they can't figure you out necessarily. And you know what is happening here? This is such a deep reading, Pisces. Let's see, how much time do I have left? I have two minutes left because I have to go pick up my little one from school. But what's actually, it's so interesting, Pisces, because these people are causing, five, you know, they're coming to you with five of swords, five of wands energy. Nine of Wands energy, which is, that can still be kind of primal, right? Nine of Wands is a primal energy, temptation. You are seeing these people as karmic. One, 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 as soon as I say that. Okay, you see these people, you see this group of people as karmic or a karmic situation, which they are coming to you as karmic. Knight of Wands, Five of Swords, Five of Wands. It's pretty primal energy. These people, they'll see you as the Empress, Two of Cups, the Moon card, the Empress, King of Pentacles, the Page of Swords. They're seeing you as like a wealthy person, um, which what's interesting here, Pisces, is like they're more feeling your energy. Okay, like they see you energetically, but they actually may see you in that way. And so these people are actually putting you on a pedestal for some of you, Pisces. Like it feels like these people are kind of putting you on a pedestal. And you may actually be wealthy. You may be in this energy. They may actually just be picking up like on that energy of yours. Like you to them like feel, again, wealthy or royal. They see you in that way. And it feels like they're coming for you because of that. You know, and so like, it's so interesting here, Pisces, but they're completely projecting onto you. Again, the moon card, they cannot see you. They cannot figure you out, Pisces. All right, and where is Pisces energy amidst all of this? You just want to make peace with the past. Two of pentacles, six of cups over here. Why six of cups with the two of pentacles? Nine of wands. Yeah, you're just holding on here. You have strength card over here. You know, it feels like you want no parts, you know, um, in whatever it is that these people are doing, that these friends, these connections, or that the past is doing right now. You want this, this to just balance. But it feels like a little bit of their intentions, as soon as I say that, a little bit in their, of their intentions may be jealousy because this is how they're seeing you. They're seeing you in empress or emperor energy if you're masculine. They see you as the king of pentacles. They see you as the empress and the king of pentacles. But they're also approaching you in this energy. And so the deep root of how they're approaching you may be even like a little bit of jealousy of this or of that. Again, projection. 333 three, three, again as soon as I say that because they cannot see you. Two of cups, the moon card, fertility. They cannot figure you out though. You do have justice and magic, Isis, okay? And so this is going to come to a balance. You have, that's what you want here, Pisces. Six of cups, two of pentacles, nine of wands. Maybe for some of you, it's been some time with these people or these energies and you just want balance. That's all you want. And for some of you, it is what you're getting with the magic card and justice. Um, what's the advice for Pisces here? This is so interesting. What's the advice for Pisces here? Why do we have the Eight of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords? This is so sneaky energy. Eight of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Strength, okay? Um, for some of you, uh, you either will see this or you will not see this. For some of you, you actually won't even see this. And as soon as I say that, wisdom. 
you won't see this actually happen. For some of you, you will only energetically feel it. Um, and this is, again, a, such a deep reading where you're actually going to see this happen. For others of you, this is more like happening energetically or it's like you don't even know that this is happening, but you energetically feel it happening and you don't even see it, but your higher self does. And oh, your ancestors do too because they're right there, okay? Um, so just know for some of you, you are feeling things, you know, or energy being projected that's not really your own. Cleanse your energy, um, you know, and I see you being really strong in this situation. Um, and I do feel like it's, you know, a test of, for some of you, your patience too. Um, again, this seems like a situation where it can be triggering, you know, or, or people are trying to trigger you in some way, shape, or form. But I do see that you have justice here, okay? Now let's get some cards of advice. Again, if you like a personal reading, one-on-one -on -one session, or Akashic Records, check out the box below. Yeah, meditation. You are called to maintain your peace for the situation, for whatever it is for you. Prophecy, sacred dreams, dream journey, temple of dreams, maturity. Yes, and I do feel like this is an example of that. Pisces, again, prophecy. For some of you, you energetically know this is going to happen before it happens. You dream it, you feel it, you sense it, okay, whether you physically see it or not. Uh, you do have flowering spirit revelation and maturity, you know, so I do feel like you are approaching this or, or have to approach this in a mature type of way, you know, um, and really just maintaining your peace and separating yourself from this energy. You do have delicacy, fragility, and transience here as well. I'm going to grab two more cards. What else do we have for Pisces for this reading? Sacred gratitude, all right? Prayer, you do have loss, lack, fear, victimization, effort plus intention. You know, so for some of you, when it comes to the situation, you know, pray about it. Um, uh, there's also gratitude, you know, so be in gratitude just in general. You have great things going on, but it just feels like this is happening too. You know, so be in gratitude every day. Um, when it comes to the situation, if it triggers you in any way about feeling like a victim, like why are these people doing this you know, or uh, being in fear, you know, of any threats or this or that, like whatever it is regarding the situation and how it's triggering you, pray about it, you know, uh, cleanse your energy. Um, and you do have privacy on the bottom of the deck over here. Look at that. And it comes out respected boundaries and taboos and violate of personal space. Okay, these people are in, they are violating your boundaries. For some of you, it is energetic boundaries that they are violating. For others of you, like just whatever it is that they're doing, energy that they're creating, whether it's like physical or like energetic, they are violating your boundaries. Okay, it is privacy and um, respected boundaries and taboos. Yeah, uh, right over here. So protect your energy, Pisces. Okay, loving boundaries. Um and I do think that this is like really a test of, uh, again, these people are really in their primal energy, um, which is not bad, you know, but it feels like this is a test, Pisces, of where you could easily be triggered, but it's like setting the loving boundaries, but it's also necessary for you to set the boundaries, all right? These people have really overstepped them for you, and for some of you, your privacy, Okay. And for others of you, like they really inviolated your personal space. That's what I'm getting over here. You know, you have the eight of, you have all this energy, um, temptation, 10 of swords, but keep going, Pisces. Uh, I'm going to grab one love message for you as well. The heart is the true seat of power. So just love everyone involved. Look at that. So just love everyone involved and all will unfold gracefully in its own time. An angel watches over you with patience, love, and perseverance. All will work out fine. Be guided by the wisdom of your heart. So this is a lot of maturity here, Pisces, because whatever the, the people are doing from the past, friends, whatever it is, just feel like they are trying it, you know, um, but all will work out. And an angel watches over you and pray, you know, and... Um, Love everyone involved. That's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope that it resonates. I'm sending you so much love and so many blessings.